hello everyone i am again back with another set of video where i will be showing you how you can do text summarization by using hugging face library in just a few lines of python coding moreover i would like to mention that most of the companies nowadays are using hugging face library because here you will get lots of open source large language models and even you can download lots of large language model and you can use them and you can have the inference and you can get your specific task done very easily and the implementation of the hugging face library is very easy i will show you the implementation here so before start let me give you a short introduction about myself welcome to ad academy the main motto of this channel is AI for Aam Janta. My name is Dr. Ayan Devnath. I am an IIT Delhi alumni and Fulbright Research Scholar at Harvard University. I have total 9 plus years of experience in the field of Artificial Intelligence, Deep Learning, Machine Learning, NLP, Generative AI. Let's watch this video. Welcome to my Metaverse. We can do text summarization in three simple steps. In the first step, you have to import the Hugging Face library. We will be using Transformer, which is a library of Hugging Face, and we will be using the pipeline module of the Hugging Face Transformer library. And in the second phase, you have to uh, build your pipeline to call the large language model which you want to use. And in the third step, where you will be actually doing the summarization of the text. So just in three simple steps, you can do text summarization. I will be showing you with the help of Python implementation. So here, as you can see, uh, first we have to install transformer. So I will be doing transformers. Okay, let's install it. Okay, so transformer is installed. Now what I need to do, so from transformers import pipeline. I have discussed about these pipelines in my previous video. You can go to that video to know about these pipelines. What are the parameters which are used in the pipelines? Okay, so I will be using this. First of all, execute this. And now in pipeline, the first parameter, as I have earlier mentioned, is that it is a task. So here in the screen also, you can see the first parameter is the task. So what I will be doing, I will be doing summarization. Okay. and. Here I am naming it as a summarizer model. Okay, so I will be building an object from the class pipeline and this summarizer model I will be using actually to do summarization. Now you can go to this Hugging Face uh, website so you can click on this uh, to get into the Hugging Face website and where you can check for your model, define model. So let's go to the model section. Here you will find lots of models and I will be going to these sections where you, you can find lots of tasks are there and with respect to tasks, lots of models are defined. So, so once you go to the summarization inside natural language processing, you will find lots of models. Total 1540 models are available in Hugging Face Model Hubs. So here you can get any one of the models and you can do uh, summarization. Right now I will be using our default model. Okay, so I will be just writing summarization as a task and here I am not mentioning the model name as of now. I will show you how you can uh, use the model name also. So I have to get some task done. So I am opening one of the summarization models. So one of the model is BARD and from here in the inference API, in this API, you have to put your summarization text which you want to summarize. And then if you click on the compute, it will give you the summarized version. So right now what I am doing, I am just copying the text. You can take any of the text uh, which you want actually to do the summarization. Okay. And I am copy pasting that text here. So I am including the text like this. This is a long uh, text. You can just uh, put some enters to see it in a same line. It depends uh, on you. No, it's not a, a big thing. Okay. So I am just putting some enters here. It is easier for uh, visualization purpose. Okay. So now let's run this text. <coughs> so this text is a. So this text is a. Uh, string variable okay now what i need to do i have to use this summarizer model on what on my text so this will be my first parameter and now i want to do the prediction using this model on my text 
So what will be my parameters which I will be use or rather you can say what will be my generative configurative parameter when you are doing some text generation to text summarization is a kind of text generation and while generating some text you have to put some configurative parameters so that I am going to mention here. So one thing I am mentioning is max length. So what does max length means? So max length means the maximum number of the words or maximum number of the tokens which will be used to summarize. So while you are doing the summarization, the summarized text will have a maximum word limit of 130 as I mentioned here. You can also mention the minimum length. So the minimum length means the minimum number of the tokens or minimum number of the words in your summarized text. So let's keep it as say 30. And one more parameter I am giving as do sample. So do sample means whether you want to go for uh, greedy decoding or you want to go for random sampling decoding. So uh, it means that greedy decoding means that when you are predicting the next word. So at that time it will try to find out the word which is having the highest probability. That is greedy decoding, and there are different types of uh, different types of decoding, like beam search decoding and other kinds of decodings are there. If you want to know more about the generative configuration parameters, then you can check my previous video. I will give the link of that in the description box. You can learn about different types of generative parameters. We can use other parameters like our uh, temperature, then uh, p values, like p tokens. Uh, there are lots of parameters so you can go through that uh, in my video so here i will be using these parameters and let's uh, let's call this in a variable say known as summarized text okay and now let's run it so it will take some time i am using my uh, tpu so what you can do, you can go to the runtime and you can go to change runtime where you can use TPU or TPU GPU. So I am using TPU GPU. So why we are doing this? If you want to go to higher uh, like processing unit TPU, then your execution will be faster. If you use CPU, then your execution will not be that faster. So I am already using TPU. So once you select it here, it will show that you are connected uh, to Python 3 in GPU system okay and it will show you how much RAM is available for you how much total RAM is there how much memory is there that is a disk size everything you will get to know about this okay now my I got my summarized text let let's see the summarized text what it is okay so this is my summarized text and this is my actual text now if you want to see whether it is actually summarized or not what we can do is that let's check the length of the actual text so I will take the text here and I will do a split so it will uh, split the whole text with respect to some blank space and then I will get the defined words and I will find the length of the words. So here if you check my length of the actual text is 130. Now in a same way I want to see what is the length of my uh, summarized text. Okay. So uh, in that way uh, we can see and while you are checking the summarized text then here you have to do like this. I will tell you what is this. So here I will put if you want to mention only like this say I am not keeping it in a variable and I am mentioning like this summarize uh, the model. So here it will give you the summarized version and it will show what it is actually giving as an output so it will give you as an output as a list see it is a list it is a list here also you can find this summarized text is actually a list so the variable summarized text is actually a list which is having an element and that element is having a key value pair so the first element is this one okay and then within that we have a key that is summary text so I have to use the first element. So that's why I'm using summarized text and then I am using zero first element and then I will be using this one. So I'm mentioning like this. Okay. Now if you execute, you will get the length of this one, but we have to split it, right? We have to split with respect to the blank spaces and then you have to 
check the length so initially my length was 130 in the actual text and now see the number of the words is reduced so we have actually summarized the text so this is a very simple procedure and now if you want to change the model so here i was using and by default model so while you are calling it this one it is using a by default model and now if you want to change the model then what you can do you can mention which model you want to use so i will be copying this uh, pipeline thing so here if you see while while i was running it it was mentioning that it was default using digital bot cnn 126 model okay but i have shown you in hugging face library that you you can have lots of models 1540 models are available as of now in hugging face so you can use any other models so if you want to say use uh, this one falcon falcon si so if you want to use this one then what you need to do you need to get the model name and you have to use that model name in that case so here while i will be calling my pipeline so here let me give a comment like this uh, call pipeline with model name so here pipeline has a parameter called model where you have to specifically mention the model name here you can mention what model name you want to use if you want to use this falcon based model then you can here you will find the model name is t5 small or maybe say you can you can want to use say another model which is made by facebook bart model so then you can use this model and you can find the model name so the model name is this i will be using this model name here so let's copy this model name and you are ready to go just you have to execute this line then your uh, model will be different and in the same way you have to use that model on that text with some generative configuration parameter and you will get your summarized text this is a very simple way you can do text summarization in just few steps in just three to four lines of python coding i hope you like this video and share this video with all of your friends who are data science enthusiasts and who are learning generative ai natural language processing you must share this video with all of your friends who are preparing themselves for different interviews with respect to generative ai nlp in some data science or in some data engineering roles and they want to switch their careers and skyrocket their careers and want to earn a lot see you soon in my next video where i will be bringing you with some more topics on hugging face transformer libraries see you soon